So in this video, we're going to go ahead and talk about uh, DIY skateboard building and different types of motors that you can buy. Um, one of the easiest ways I would actually recommend uh, is a dual hub uh, or dual belt. This is a dual belt. You can get a dual belt uh, on eBay for about 100, and, 100 bucks. Um, dual hub, they have the 6364 dual hub, which is actually really... Uh, pretty good setup for hundred bucks. It's a steel uh, and then this is a generic. Uh, I think it's a 5045 So this is what's on a lot of like the Vestar mini uh, the onboard um, mini um, The M1 onboard M1 um, All the you know mini boards they tend to go with the 5045 It's also uh, similar to the motors on the boosted board. These motors are pretty good uh, in that they're very lightweight and they're going to take you up hills. It really depends on um, how you maximize this. So you'll need a good battery, um, obviously good VSC, uh, ESC. Uh, Hobby Wing is pretty good for pre-built boards. Um, if you're making your own board, obviously use uh, something like a VSC. If you use cheap Chinese v, uh, ESC, um, you're not going to really be able to maximize it. Also, you'll need to use the right batteries. Now, these things are going to be running um, pretty hard if you do, if you want to go faster, uh, whatever, then you will, this will still get you pretty fast. You can still go like 30, 30 miles per hour. Um, but the only thing is these are small motors. It's just not going to give you the acceleration um, if you want to, you know, if, if, if you're getting really good at electric skateboarding, then you'll want to move on um to bigger motors so um let me go ahead and start with the smallest one this is a flipsy uh 5065 motor so that you can see the motor itself is already uh, a lot a lot longer so the uh, the numbers mean 50 means 50 millimeter diameter 65 uh, means 65 millimeter length Right, the bigger it is, the bigger these numbers are. Basically, you're gonna have more torque, more speed, more acceleration, all that good stuff, and be able to go up hills. Now, I've tried uh, all of these different motors, 5065. Um, this one's actually pretty powerful compared to this. This is about 1500 watts. This is only like maybe 650, 700 watts, so almost double the power. Um, and if you want to really get, you know, more torque and power. Um, then I would move up to like the 6354. All right. Uh, my Mad Max mini board is actually running this and it is really, really fast. Um, but because I live on hills, I need that extra torque. And uh, I have a board that it runs two 6374s. That's my Mad Max. Um, you've probably seen it. Uh, but uh, this one is super powerful. And then they got the 6384. Um, so the bigger the motor, the better. But now with the bigger motors, you're going to need um, bigger mounts. Another thing you have to think about, um, if you get trucks, you need bigger trucks because obviously this will fit. Um, this will fit, right? Not not th this particular motor mount. You also need to get the, uh, different motor mounts. But you'll see this one sort of, it's just not going to fit in this short truck. So you're going to need bigger trucks for that so there's a lot of customization you can do but you can do it um the parts are out there it's just a matter of knowing what to buy um i did a lot of uh tinkering obviously and uh for starters i would just start with something like a cheap hundred dollars dual belt uh, or 130 bucks or whatever and dual hub those are very good to start mess with those and once you master that, uh, maybe the next board I would try, I would actually recommend this one. I really like this because it's a lot shorter than the 5065, but it's got more torque. This is about 2,500 watts. I think this is about almost 4,000 watts per motor. So if you have dual, that's 8,000 watts. Um, so yeah, just, just a lot of uh, different options to build a skateboard. Obviously, this is more like a pre-built. One thing good is um, they already built the motor mount for you. You don't have to mess with it. You know, the motor mount building is a whole um, another video I'll have to talk about 
and this allows you to just really you know you can even get the cheap chinese est hook it up and make it work um and it's actually got bullet uh, points but i took it out but uh, it's really easy to work with this when you're beginning out once you get good at that um your second board i would just definitely go with uh building the actual trucks uh you know mounting the motor mounts um I'll, again i'll have another video on the motor mounts and then mounting the motors um you know step by step so that's actually what i went through i ordered this and i was just not able to get the power i want so i moved on to building um my own custom diy boards with uh the motors that i want i really like the flip ski stuff because another thing with the motors uh, it can e either be very close like this now this will heat up more than something like a torque motor but you know these motors are basically giant magnets so if you use something like open like this this will cool much easier at the same time if you have anything that's metal and you're riding it will stick onto your motor um so it's sort of uh trade-offs if you don't really ride where there's a lot of metal obviously you should be fine with the open-ended but this also is more waterproof um in the rain you're not gonna have to worry about uh, water getting in so i actually prefer the closed type even though it's slightly less power um plus these are these don't really overheat anyways um so flip ski a lot of them are just closed and um, torque